Hey friend, thanks for coming, welcome. I, if you don't know me, I'm Jen and I resell things on eBay. And so I go to thrift stores and yard sales and I find clothes, shoes, hats, purses, things like that. And I list them online and I sell them and make a little profit and I've been having so much fun. I've been doing this for just about a little under a year. I recently went to the Goodwill bins, the outlet with my daughter and we got so much stuff. It was like over a hundred pounds. I spent over $200. My average cost of goods, so what I paid per item was about $2.50. About $2 uh, this is part two, so if you haven't seen part one, make sure you check that out. I will link that in the description. If you enjoy this video and like reseller content, make sure that you Press the like button and the thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy thrift hauls and what sold videos and things like that. Make sure you stay to the end because I did find a really cool thing at a yard sale that I just randomly went to and found one item. I paid $3 for it and I'm pretty sure I can, I just listed it for $50. So it hasn't sold yet, but about four items did sell that... I am showing you in this haul, so make sure you listen for that cha-ching and see how much I made. I haven't listed everything, but I'm getting there and getting closer. I'm excited to share with you what I bought to resell on eBay from the Goodwill we outlet. now come to the denim portion of our haul. Uh, if you have seen any of my other Goodwill outlet hauls, I usually pick up a lot of denim. I did not this time. There's a bit. I mean, 100 items, I gotta have some denim, right? So these jeans, I noticed, I saw them like this, and I was like, oh, they're lined. Lined is good. So I grabbed them, and I, I didn't see a brand. I couldn't think of the word. So another little trick is, if you can't see the brand label, it's often on the button. So this is Burn. Burn is like a work brand similar to Carhartt but I don't think maybe is quite quite as high quality uh, but I've sold some things by burn so I thought you know with those being one they're woman's size which I thought was interesting and being lined especially going into the fall these are silver jeans I have zero luck selling silver jeans but I thought these were really cool with the like frayed hem however I'm, and these are women's also. I do think, they're also a plus size, I believe. They are the boyfriend. Do they have a size? Oh yeah, sorry, size 18. However, I think that they were actually hand cropped and that this is not how they're actually supposed to be. I think that they are supposed to be full length jeans. So that could be an issue. Maybe, not sure. These are BKE Derek, another brand that I just don't have very much luck selling. However, these had a couple things going for them. I just watched a video about like men's styles for the fall and like loose baggy jeans were one of them. So, and light jeans. So these are obviously light. They look loose and baggy to me. They're a little frayed at the bottom, which I don't know. But then they also have like stuff on the bum, which I don't like stuff on my bum, but apparently stuff on the bum is sought after or popular or fashionable. I'm not, I'm not very fashionable. So I'm just telling you. This is a cinch and again, it's kind of a work brand. I did look these up in the store in the store yeah in the bins but i don't remember what the comps were but they were good enough for me to buy them i get a little obsessed with levi's and i am learning really really i'm learning a lot about just through experience not necessarily people telling me what to buy but i i'm just i'm learning okay i did just sell a pair of levi's but I also have listed a bunch that haven't sold. So there you go. I did buy three pair of Levi's. They're all very different. So the first one is actually a jean jacket. 
and I just thought it was really cool and it's Levi's and it's a woman's I do believe but man if that's a woman's large that's really large okay I thought it was a men's but maybe it is a woman's it just is very large if it's a woman's these are Levi's and they are camo cargo shorts I've had a lot of luck recently selling cargo shorts and I feel like camo is always a thing and then these I've never found these before and so I was really excited but they are wedgies and they are a button fly they're distressed they are skinny which all the people tell me skinny's not cool anymore however I still see a lot of people wearing skinnies and I also see a lot of or I also sell a lot of skinny jeans so there is a little bit of puckering right here in the fly and that is something if you're gonna like look for jeans make sure you look they just get stretched out and so if something's not a hundred percent cotton which these aren't they just they just get stretched out so I was really excited though the wedgies I think go for more money right well I don't know why I was that excited sell through rates only about 25% the highest one sold for 40 which is great but most of them are like 11 12 40 and 42 but like best offer and 999 15 oh well <laughs> These are Lucky Brand. This is a brand that I pick up a lot. I had sold really well for me, especially like the the shirts were selling really well, women's shirts. These are men's jeans, I believe. I should double check that before I tell you for sure. Yeah, these are men's jeans and they're really rather distressed and they're also kind of that loose baggy. These are Vineyard Vines. They are pink jeans, which I don't know. Anyway, when I pulled them out of the wash, I don't think, I think my wash did this. I washed them with the, uh, the regular jeans and I think the like blue fading ink just got on there. So I'm not entirely sure. I might try to soak those. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. And then, these are so cool. These are vintage Tommy Hilfiger. So these, again, light wash, baggy, men's jeans. They are carpenter, so they have like this funky pocket and a hammer hook. I've never seen anyone with a hammer in it, but, but then it also has the Tommy Hilfiger thing here. I, this does have a broken belt loop. I'm not sure that that's gonna be a deal breaker, but I am hopeful that these are gonna be actually worth a lot of money because sometimes these like vintage kind of things like that, it just, they randomly are. I kept the hats to a minimum, mostly because I just didn't find very many. Uh, I don't know what he is, but you know, it's a rabbit using a carrot as a bat. <laughs> but trucker hat I also don't know what this is it says Tatum Parker project on the back but it was new with tags and I've had decent luck with visors this is Captain America snapback and this is the Cubs right yeah this is a youth um, but I just thought it was really cool and really good condition. I always check in here. I found that that's not necessarily a deal breaker, but just for my own personal, like, I just like to make sure it looks nice. My daughter did bring to my attention. It does have a name written on the inside. I, that might be an issue. I don't know. I thought this skirt was so cool. It is quite heavy, so I probably paid a couple of bucks for it, but it is a brand called Maggie Marilyn. There was just something about the way that tag was made and kind of the significant weight and I don't know, just the way this looked that made me go, um, I might look up that up. But anyway, it has kind of a frayed edge and it's aligned. It's made of cotton and the lining is viscose and it is a size six, but it was made in New Zealand and it says ethically made in New Zealand. And we already kind of talked about that with the fair trade. It, that just kind of gives me 
something that I'm gonna look up. I'm trying to remember if I looked this up. Actually, you know what I'm seeing? I think the zipper's broken. <laughs> no! Uh, oh, that makes me sad. Okay, I think the zipper's broken. Darn it all. That's frustrating. Okay, well, I don't think the comps were that great anyway. I'll say that just to make myself feel better. This is another, oh my word, I found a lot of Columbia, didn't I? Columbia, this is a little coat, I mean little coat, and I was thinking I would put it in the consignment sale, but maybe I'll list it, I'm not really sure. It's supposed to say Bugaboo on the back. Those are so cute, little two teeth. I wish it was big enough for my son, but it's not. I only bought two pairs of shoes. I feel like shoes kind of up your cost of goods because they tend to weigh more. And also I just don't have any space for the shoes right now. So these are Tevas. My daughter found these and they are in pretty decent condition. I did kind of check. I guess it does kind of have some cracking on the bottom. Yep. Man, I didn't notice that either. Darn. Yeah, it has, can you see that? It has some cracking on the soles. I checked all like the straps just to make sure they're kind of intact, but I didn't apparently check the soles. Bummer. Well, I wonder if there are any of my kids' sizes. Yeah, maybe one of my kids will know. And then these are Merrell's. And I like Merrell's. I think they have a different insole in them, like not the original insole. So I'll just note that, but these are a size nine and a half and they're like a healed Mary Jane. And I think they're leather upper. I'm pretty sure these are leather and I you know, just thought they were cute. <laughs> I'm really bummed about those Tevas. I bought a belt, which is unlike me, but I happened upon it and it is Tommy Bahama is the brand. Let me see, somewhere in there. And it is leather, and I checked, I think, I think I checked all the holes, and they are fairly intact, and I don't know, I just thought it was really nice, and I thought, well, it has a brand on it, it's leather, I'll, I'll try it, something new. This hat was pretty cool, and it is branded for the Olympics, I was just gonna check it out. If it's not worth anything, I'll put it in the consignment sale, but it's like a, it's that kind of aviator style a little bit. Oh, it's cool. Oh, this is the one bra I found. It is pilly, like really bad. But I think I can take my sweater shaver to it. See how oh, it's really bad. This is Cacique, which I think is Lane Bryant, which is a plus size brand. So it just was in, other than that, that pilling, it just looked really good. Like it's not stained. The, the cups can get really creased, but that doesn't really seem to be an issue. I've not had any issues with selling creased cups. So this is a flag. It has a W and the Major League Baseball uh, thing down in the bottom. It says Windcraft, made in the USA. I don't really have anything else to say other than that. I, you know, it didn't cost really anything to buy. So I thought, I would try this is Northern Isles, 100% wool made in Hong Kong, which is a vintage indication, but it is just like a, is that brown? But it has kind of like that speckled coloring throughout. I'm sure that there's a technical name for it, but I don't know what that is. Another wool sweater, this is Paul Harris, and it is wool and angora and lamb's wool. And I just thought it was really pretty with the cable knit there and it's a cardigan. These are uh, ski pants or snow pants. Uh, they are a performance. They have like um, extra padding on the knee. I believe these are a men's size extra large. And they're Falls Creek, which I'm pretty sure is a Walmart brand. Maybe it's Kohl's, I don't know. But I wouldn't have bought them other than they are new with tags. So. Brand new, they were $60. Snow pants are expensive. Uh, so, I mean, $60 in the world of snow pants is not much, but these are also not like a high quality snow pant. 
but somebody's probably looking for those and for a deal. I did find another pair of jeans in here. These are uh, new with tags and they're Wranglers Slim Straight and I believe they are a boys. No, they're 31, 32. So that is a smaller size, but I just thought a new with tags, maybe kind of have a smoke smell to them, which is not ideal. I have this dress in a different style, but I love this color and this pattern. I think it's beautiful. I've had the other dress someone gave to me and I've, it's not sold. So it's not ideal. This, I don't know what this brand is. It's Posse She, but it was new with tags. And I was like, uh, I kind of hemmed and hot. It's also a 4X and it's like a maxi dress, it's really long. So anyway, I just thought it was very pretty. It had a tag on it and I thought, you know what? At less than $2 a piece, I might as well get it. And then I found another one exactly the same. So what I can do is do a multi quantity listing and it's, you know, two listings for the price of one. Not really the price, the time of one, which is really good. So this is uh, cool. I'm pretty sure that this is vintage. It says that it is made in Mexico. It is called Senor Lopez and it is like a blanket wool vest. I just thought it was really cool looking. Again, I like vintage. I like wool, <laughs> all the things that I like. This is a bomber jacket, and that is another thing that I've heard is really in. I've also I feel like I've had luck selling it. And it's wool, it's a wool blend, I believe. It's just HM, but because it was a bomber jacket, or really just a jacket at all, and being a wool blend, that was what made me want to get it. This is so cool. <laughs> this is a top gun jacket. Isn't that awesome? I love it. Anyway, it is um, spirit Halloween, so it's intended as a costume, but I just thought it was cool. It's in really good condition, especially considering like, you can hear, like that is not high quality. <laughs> it is made of plastic. Since Maverick came out this summer, I thought, you know, maybe somebody will want a Maverick jacket. <laughs> this is Chico's. I've already showed you that label, but it is a purple, Feels like felt like a felt blazer I just listed something very much almost exactly like this except in orange uh, this has very much like lagging look looks if you don't know what that is I would just recommend googling it but basically it's like oversized kind of artsy and like very neutrals and naturals so this is a linen and cotton blend very large oversized tunic does say it's a 2XL. So. This is a pretty plain basic ribbed turtleneck. It's brown like a camel color. The brand is Banana Republic. If I can find it in here. So a couple things. The ribbing I think is good. Banana Republic is not bad. Uh, it doesn't, it's not like a highly sought after, but it's a pretty well-known brand, but it's 100% merino wool and new with tags. So that's good. It retailed for $48. Sometimes I don't know why I do the things that I do, uh, but I bought this again. It is like, it's not high quality. You can hear that it is plastic, but it is studded. It says Nevada and love and Rudism? I don't know what rudism is. Maybe I should know what that is. Anyway, it says a bunch of words on here. And um, it has that like animal print and all those patches on the back. I just thought it was very cool. It is in excellent condition. And uh, now it lives with me for a while. Hopefully not for too long. This is a wool coat. It is green and tan. It is pretty well lined. It has a hood, which is cool. The brand is, I don't know this brand, Authentic Macintosh Vest Coat. And it does say it's made in the US. Uh, I didn't find a size on it, which isn't great, but 
wait a minute, there it is. It's a size 16. I do think it might be vintage based on, I don't know, my gut maybe? I don't know. I think it might be vintage. This is a Nike dry fit, Nike golf dry fit, and it is a quarter zip. It does say Alongo on it. I don't know what that means, but it was new with tags. So that was why I got it. I just have a really hard time sending things that are new with tags to the landfill. If you haven't deduced from me saying that this a lot, uh, <laughs> what happens after the bins is that they then send it to the landfill, unfortunately. So this is J. Crew. It's medium. It's 100% lamb's wool and it's made in Hong Kong, which indicates it's vintage and it is a gray turtleneck. This didn't have a tag in it, but it is wool. It has a, um, a fabric tag on the bottom, but doesn't have an RN number or anything. It just says it's merino, extra fine wool, with also some alpaca in it, which is excellent, but I thought it was really cool. Just like that kind of heathered, it's really light gray is what I would say. It's not white, it's like a gray. Okay, this was an exciting find for me, not a brand I find very often ever, really. I'm also wondering if this tag means that maybe it's new without tags. Anyway, it's a size extra small, but that's huge, right? <laughs> uh, so very oversized sweater with like the stripes and a dolman sleeve. I, after I got home and I looked at the, um, I looked at the fabric tag and it's actually 89% alpaca, which is great. I didn't even realize that it was wool, but the brand is free people. So I'm really pumped about that. I have no idea if the style is cool or not. I mean, it looks cool to me, but I'm hopeful that that will be good. And then this is Robert Scott. And this is a silk linen cotton blend vintage let's see made in hong kong and it is a vintage like embroidered sweater with all those leaves like this is just perfect for fall i think it's beautiful yeah so a cardigan sweater i do try to make sure and check all the buttons and make sure all the buttons are there clearly i don't check zippers but i do try to check the buttons oh goodness this is oh my goodness this is beautiful this is mostly acrylic, has a little bit of wool in it. It's called April Cornell? Cornell. April Cornell. I just thought that, I mean, just the label is beautiful, right? It is a cardigan, but look at that. It's like beaded, sequined. I mean, even the buttons are beaded. It's just really pretty. And yeah, it's just beautiful, I think. This was made it it's made in Russia so again something I should have looked up and I didn't Harvey Bernard sport and it is a wool green blazer this might be my favorite thing of the whole day <laughs> this is smart wool something I've never found before and I was expecting like when I saw the smart wool blend, um, brand I was like ah, oh, it's gonna have holes or something but it's not and it's so pretty so I know like smart wool, like just plain basic stuff can go for a lot of money, like $40, even with holes and stuff. So I'm hopeful that like a pretty non-holy one will go for even more, but we will see. This is Van Heusen, uh, not a brand I would normally buy, but it is new with tags. And I just thought it was very, I mean, it's just a long sleeve polo shirt, so. Okay, actually this might be my favorite thing that I found. So this is Vintage Land's End. Dad's home. I know. This is Vintage Land's End. And it is a velvet, black velvet dress. It's like probably midi length. My camera hates black. Um, the buttons are covered in velvet. It's just really cool. Yeah. It may be my size. I may try to wear it. I don't know what I would wear it to, but it's really cool. And this, I don't know what that brand is either, but this is a 
really cool looking coat. It has kind of a waterfall effect on the collar. And I think it was at least a wool blend, but it feels like felt. I just thought it was really nice. It's like not super heavy. So I don't know, it's a size large. I just thought it was really pretty and looked like it was in good condition. And again, the wool tends to add some value. Happened upon a pile of bags and it was funny cause like all the pockets were turned inside out. So I think somebody was digging through bags for pockets or for money. I didn't find any, but maybe somebody did. But this is Bagolini is the brand. I like Bagolini personally. I think it is a decent brand and it, the bags I've sold have all sold like $15, I think, but I like to wear them. They're nylon, so I can throw them in the wash. They're just durable. They're kind of cute. This, so this is kind of like a one shoulder backpack. Uh, it does have a coin purse that goes in it. There's lots and lots of pockets on the inside. There's pockets on the outside. Unfortunately, there's quite a bit of like kind of discoloration on the back. So I'm not really sure how well that'll clean up, but I'm going to try. We'll see. This is a Valerie Stevens. I don't really know that brand, but it is a hundred percent silk and it is like a what color. Would you say this color is kind of like a peachy coral blouse. I mean, it's very, very basic, but it is 100% silk. You just done, everybody. Okay, thank you. This is Miss Me is the brand. I mostly just know their jeans, but I thought this shirt was really cool with the crochet detail and it has kind of a, I don't know what you call that, in the back, like this panel. This panel also has a frayed hem. It has all that like bling. So very much in the same style as their jeans. Their jeans have all those like blinged out pockets, what they're known for. Uh, this is a shirt. So I don't, again, comp much of anything. Okay, I'm gonna tell you about these shirts, but first I'm gonna tell you. I was looking at this little pile of clothes in like the hard goods section. So my Goodwill outlet has the clothes separated out from everything else. But sometimes you'll find a little pile of clothes, whether the workers put it in there or another person who was shopping just like dumped their, what they didn't want. So I'm digging through this little pile of stuff and I glanced up and there was a pair of leather pants. And I went to grab it and as I did, this woman came behind me and like swooped them up. I was so mad. I've sold two pair of leather pants within the past year since I started for over $50. So I was really irritated. Hopefully they had a big hole in them or something. No, I don't, I don't really wish her ill, but I did in that pile find two Tommy Bahama silk shirts. So this is one and this one is really cool because it has this embroidery on the back. It says without reservation and I don't, really know what that little scene is but I just thought it was really cool and then this one is Tommy Bahama original fit and it's just plain but just that like teal it does have like a textured print in there I don't know if you can see that in my camera but um it is kind of textured so those were fun and then I found this scarf and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. I just thought it was really pretty. Uh, there is a spot on it that I saw, but it has all this embroidery. It's sheer. I don't know if you can see me through there. Uh, that is not a spot. That is a fuzzy. And it is just kind of lined with like this little beading trim. It's just really pretty and it's huge. Uh, like a shawl type thing scarf right and so I, I then looked over and I found this dress that matches so I do think there's no tags whatsoever and as I'm looking at the stitching I think I'm pretty sure that it is handmade so it is just like a knee length it's actually pretty sheer but fully embroidered and on the sleeves the back is just very basic and plain but I thought it was just 
really pretty. Somebody worked really hard on this, you know? I think they probably bought the, the embroidered material. I don't know that that is hand embroidered. It could be. I really don't know enough to know how to find that out. But um, again, I just, you know, wanted to save it. <laughs> wanted to save it a little bit. Uh, hopefully someone else will fall in love with this and take it home to be theirs. But I just thought it was beautiful. It's kind of going to be a pain because I'm going to have to measure everything and try and figure out a size. I measure all my listings anyway, um, but trying to figure out a size from there is kind of tough. Sometimes I just base it on like, oh, I think well, maybe that would fit me. Okay, well then that's it, this side. That is all I got from the Goodwill Outlets in Indiana. So if you have liked this video so far, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Thanks for staying to the end. I'm going to show you my find. So I was at, I was actually heading to the post office today and passed a yard sale and I found a coach purse. There was nothing else there. It was all kind of junk. And I was looking at it going, ah, uh, you know, coach is quite easily faked. So hopefully this is not, it does kind of smell uh, like smoke. So if you know how to get smoke smell out of leather, let me know. I paid $3 for this. I am fairly certain, you know what I shouldn't have done? Check the zipper. Okay, at least the zipper works. <laughs> I spent $3, I should be able to sell this for right around $45. There was a 50% sell through rate and the 45 was the lowest. There was not a purple like this uh, sold or listed. So maybe I might try and get a little more out of it. I am i don't want to be greedy, but at the same time, if it's worth that much, then maybe it's worth that much. So anyway, here is my find. I was really excited about it. Again, thanks so much for joining me. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe right here. I do what sold videos, so hopefully some of these items will show up in the future very soon. Uh, and you can also check out another video here. I post videos every Wednesday about my reselling journey and uh, just kind of life along the way. So thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you soon.